Hey guys, it's Chris with BSC and I'm here in my office and I thought I would give you a little tour. All right, so a lot of you guys know that I work in education and this is my office. Uh, I have a Lego theme going on in my office where I say build your future one brick at a time. I made all of that sign out of Legos. And then I've got Legos everywhere. And the highlight for me uh, that probably a lot of you are going to want to see is the Batman stuff. And this is the Arkham. Um, please pardon the dust. They never dust in here. <laughs> so there's a lot of dust in this room. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is the Arkham Asylum that I kind of custom built. So it is the standard uh, Arkham Asylum from years back, but I extended it. I customized it. There's Barbara Gordon and Jim Gordon, which is uh, really great. Uh, I built that garage uh, to match the rest of the asylum. Um, and I built this years ago. I also built the outside edge. Oh, there's can Calendar Man just randomly back there hiding. Uh, but I built all of the gate around as well. Um, just extended the entire property to make it look a lot bigger. I've got Penguin. I've got uh, Poison Ivy, Harley, Ra's al Ghul, Catwoman, Doctor Strange, uh, Hugo Strange. There's a police officer trying to get him. Of course, the Riddler. Um, all of them are breaking out of the asylum. We have Mr. Freeze as well, uh, which I love that suit. And then I love his clay face. He is so cool. So uh, in this particular one, what I've done is I have Batman. And, uh, well, first of all, there's a couple of Jokers there as well. So you can definitely check out the Jokers. But then there's Batman stuck to um, his arm. And that is grappled on to the Joker, who is also trying to escape off the roof. And so Batman is fighting Clayface and all the villains, which is really fun. Of course, I have I got all the police officers trying to capture the Joker. Uh, again, sorry, but there's so much dust in here. Um, I really got to dust this stuff. Um, but anyway, and then there's Huntress over there in the corner. So it's just kind of a really fun diorama that I put together. Um, the kids love coming in and looking at it, so that's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's my uh, Gotham City Arkham collection right there that I have on display and see I've made it deeper um, so I customized the sides to make it uh, from here over um, to make it a little more substantial uh, I made the tree back there so again just to kind of make it a whole scene really which is uh, a lot of fun so then I of course I love that joker on the balloons escaping so that's a lot of fun uh, I've got the infinity gauntlet um, from the Legos I've got all of the um, the um, little mini figures here. These are uh, called Brickheads. Uh, they don't make very many of these, um, but I love them. Got a lot of Disney ones as well. Um, took seven hours to make the Disney castle. Uh, they have a newer one that's really cool, but I just love having it represented. A lot of you guys know, if you watch the channel, you guys know that I have, um, you know, a, a love for Disney parks. Um, just did this one this year. I got the Van Gogh painting, which is really neat. Uh, there's Vincent Van Gogh right there. This was a really fun one to put together. Um, and a lot of people really recognize that one. So uh, also that Batman on display, this took forever. Um, all those little studs um, in the little sections, but that was a lot of fun to put together. Of course, that, that is the uh, the Jim Lee um, Lego portrait. Um, and I, I'm just so glad that I have that in the collection as well uh, on display. Um, then uh, here in the, uh, the center of the room, I've got some flowers that are made of Legos. Um, when uh, people come in for uh, meetings or conferences and things like that, uh, you know, it just gives it a little bit of more of a professional look, I guess. Uh, and then, of course, we've got Sonic. Uh, just a lot of things that, uh, you know, when people come in to see me, they're, they, they like to check out and, and look at. Um, maybe inspire them to do something. And uh, we also have Bowser as well. Now, this is the big boy. This was a lot of fun to put together uh, if you're a Lego collector or fan. But, man, that, it's just a really fun piece. Um, massive, massive uh, character. Um, and then they also have some uh, mini Disney stuff. They've got the castle uh, for the 50th anniversary with the colors of the gold. And then this is one of my favorites, the Haunted Mansion. It's a mini Haunted Mansion that I have in there. Um, just I wish they would do more of those because they're a lot of fun to put together. Of course, I do have a little bit more Batman represented. I've got the, uh, the Adam West uh, with the Cesar Romero Joker, which is fun. Um, that's on display. There's, of course, Adam West Batman right there. And uh, I also have the uh, the pirate ship. I'm a major fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, so I've got a, a little bit of the pirate stuff there as well. Um, and I've got some Harry Potter stuff. Not a lot, but uh, just a little bit. Uh, just to kind of, again, decorate the room and uh, make it fun, make it cheery. And again, this is my favorite right here. <laughs> again, the, uh, the Arkham collection is so much fun. But uh, yeah, how great is that? Uh, so yeah, I'm sure not every office looks like mine, but uh, I definitely cherish it and... Uh, Again, it's a, a fun place for uh, people to come and visit me. 
So there you guys have it, a little look around my office. Hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, guys, I have partnered up with Red Wolf Collectibles, maker of incredible comic book display options, including this outstanding, heavy-duty, and well-made slab stand featuring an anti-slip pad and all the accessories needed to display your most prized slab comic books, just like this one here in my collection. And now they even have interchangeable 3 d design plates that feature really strong magnets that let you easily swap out logos to match your comic books, slabs, or whatever superhero you want to feature in your display in an absolutely incredible way. And these are just some of the plates available for purchase from DC, Marvel, and much, much more. I mean, look at all of the options here. You can even have your own custom logo made. And they also offer magnetized comic book frames. You simply remove the front, place your comic book inside, and place the magnetized cover back on. It's that simple. It looks absolutely amazing and even features a built-in hook so you can display it on the wall. I mean, look how awesome this looks. Now, if you don't have a slab, you can also purchase their protective comic book cases, which feature high-quality metal corners and screws, and you can also pair this up with the display stands to give it that amazing slab look. Now, all of these are absolutely incredible, and make sure you use code STATUE at checkout for a discount at redwolfcollectibles.com. I'm so happy to be partnering with them because their products are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.